It's the 1st of May. I'm FX Plu and this is CurrencyTransfer.com's Market Update. So the main headlines today are that Theresa May is facing a difficult week ahead. Political concerns are adding to sterling's woe. The dollar rally continues and euro dollar may well test the 120 mark. So look, yesterday the EU Brexit chief negotiator headed to Dublin to throw his weight around behind the open border proposals uh, for Ireland. Regardless of the agreement in principle here, everyone seems to like the idea, but it can only really happen if Northern Ireland effectively remains within the customs union. And this is out of the question for the democratic unionists. And don't forget, Irish MPs make up a large proportion of Theresa May's government. So it may well be a tricky week ahead for her. Poor economic data domestically has all but eroded any expectation for a rate hike and Brexit always looms in the background ready to push sterling lower with a bit of bad news. Cable touched 137.15 yesterday and there is very little current support for sterling. Charlie on the chart sees with a little bit more dollar strength uh, we could see cable touch the or test the year low at around 134.60. The dollar rally has has continued after Friday's minor correction. The dollar index touched 91.90 yesterday as dollar positive sentiment continues to grow. The dollar posted its largest single month gain for, for two years, uh, touching a 2% gain in April. Um, and all of this has come with that 180 flip in general risk sentiment. The attacks on Syria helped, the talks between North and South Korea really helped, and the US-Chinese trade talks um, are all helping sentiment improve. Still no question around a rate hike tomorrow. However, growing expectation around the FOMC press conference uh, that it may strike a slightly more hawkish tone, bringing a June rate hike into focus. No doubt all going to be dollar, dollar positive if that happens. Meanwhile, in the, uh, in the Eurozone, the Euro, the single currency is on the back foot. No real reason for it to fall through a series of support levels that we've seen other than the change of sentiment uh, in the dollar. The ECB doesn't seem too bothered about that and Draghi has made it clear that there'll be no change to monetary policy or to the asset purchase scheme. So the traders have taken that as a, a clear indication to continue selling the, uh, the single currency. Uh, the 120 level for euro dollar, it has very little uh, technical significance, but it is a psychologically important level and uh, may well provide a little bit of support ahead of the US rate decision and indeed non-farm payrolls on Friday. With much of the Eurozone closed today uh, for the May day holiday, it's likely to be a fairly quiet day uh, with the dollar continuing to dominate. Anything of significance will keep you posted. Any questions, pop them in the comments below.